there are some laws that we cannot evade. The laws of physics, for example. But we can study them, test them, and so redefine their limits for pure driving pleasure. The Cayman, the code of the curve. With Porsche Entry and Drive, it is even quicker and easier to access your vehicle. Simply touch the door handle and the doors unlock automatically. Provided, of course, that the key is in close proximity to the vehicle. The vehicle's unlocking settings, either both doors or the driver's door only, are entered via the multifunction display. Press the open button on the key twice to unlock both doors, regardless of which setting has been stored using the multifunction display. Just in case, there is an emergency key. Which will even lock and unlock the glove compartment. Use the button to lock and unlock your Cayman from inside. With Porsche entry and drive, the luggage compartment opens as your hand approaches the front luggage compartment lid in the area between the Porsche crest and the number plate, or the rear luggage compartment in the area beneath the wing. With Porsche entry and drive, the relevant lid will then unlock automatically. You can unlock the front luggage compartment lid by pressing the button on the key. Then, release the safety catch using the red lever. To unlock the rear luggage compartment, press the button on the back of the key. From inside the car, you can also open the luggage compartment lids using the buttons in the door sill on the driver's side. Both lids are locked with a single press. On vehicles with a memory package, the Easy Entry system slides the seat and steering wheel back to facilitate access. This function can be activated and deactivated via the multifunction display. To stow beverages, press on the trim panel above the glove compartment and fold out one or both cup holders. Then close the panel again to ensure that the cup holder cannot inadvertently move about whilst the vehicle is in motion. Depending on the configuration, Cayman models come with a cigarette lighter and one or more plug sockets. The memory package automatically stores your most recently selected seat, steering wheel and exterior mirror positions on your key when you leave the vehicle. When you return, the vehicle restores your settings. The memory package also stores to your key other personal settings relating to the audio system and automatic climate control, as well as your preferred settings for the multifunction display. For example, activation of the easy entry system on your key. It is possible to deactivate the automatic storage of settings to the key via the multifunction display. Regardless of whether or not this feature is enabled through the multifunction display, with the memory button 3 on the inside of the door, you can store settings on your key at any time. Press Set, followed by 3. Simply press 3 again to retrieve your settings later. The electric steering wheel adjustment facility allows you to modify your steering wheel position manually at any time. The same applies to your seat position using the buttons on the side of the seat. The following are individually adjustable. Seat cushion depth, length, seat height and angle, backrest angle, and lumbar support. 
You are also able to store your personal seat, steering wheel, and exterior mirror settings using the memory buttons. For example, to save a seat position that differs from the one stored on your key. In this case, press set, followed by one. A signal confirms that the setting has been saved. To recall the setting later, just press one. A second person may store their settings using button two. Ready to go? With Porsche Entry and Drive, simply turn the electric ignition switch briefly to the right to start the engine. The key just has to be inside the car. Both models come with automatic driving lights as standard. Turn the light switch on the dashboard to Auto. The lights will now come on as soon as it gets dark. To switch between side lights and driving lights, rotate the light switch. A pull on the switch activates the rear fog light. The control for the electric parking brake is located underneath the light switch. Press this button to activate the parking brake. Apply the brakes and pull the button to subsequently disengage it. The electric parking brake disengages automatically if you have your seat belt on and you then start up normally when the doors are closed. The new Cayman models are available with Porsche Doppelkupplung, PDK, as an option. PDK shifts gears for you, but you can still change gear manually with the shift buttons on the steering wheel or using the PDK gear selector. To shift up, press the button. To shift down, pull the button down. With the optional sport design steering wheel, you change down using the left hand shift pedal and change up using the right hand one. The top left control stock operates the headlight flasher and high beam, as well as the indicator. The hold function maintains brake pressure and thereby ensures that you can move off on a gradient without rolling back. The right hand stalk controls the windscreen wipers. Activate the optional rain sensor by pushing the stock up one position. The windscreen wipers will now start automatically in the wet. Want to modify the rain sensor's sensitivity? Push the small switch on the right of the control stock up or down. On vehicles without a rain sensor, the switch in this position can be used to choose between four intermittent stages of wiping. The wiping speed can also be adjusted manually. Push the stock up further for slow or fast wiping. For a one-off wipe, tap the stock downwards. To change the wiper blades, for example, tap the stock down after the ignition is turned off to put the windscreen wipers into the service position. Pull the stock towards you to use the windscreen washer system. When you have to wait, the auto start-stop function switches the engine off. For vehicles with PDK, when you apply and hold the brake pedal. For cars with a manual transmission, when you select neutral and release the clutch pedal. 
All audio and communication systems remain switched on, as does the air conditioning system. If applicable, the airflow is reduced. The auto start stop symbol on the multifunction display shows a green light. If the auto start stop symbol appears yellow, this means that the auto start stop function is inactive or restricted. Examples where this may occur include high demands being placed on the air conditioning, such as in AC Max mode, or during in vehicle test sequences. On vehicles with PDK, the engine restarts as soon as you release the brake, press the accelerator pedal, or select reverse gear. On cars with a manual transmission, it restarts as soon as you operate the clutch. You can switch the auto start-stop function on or off at any time. Use the lower left-hand stock on the steering wheel to operate the adaptive speed control system, the adaptive cruise control, which you switch on and off with a button on the side. Push the stock away from you to set the current speed as the speed you wish to maintain, or to increase it. Pulling the stock towards you reduces it. Adaptive Cruise Control regulates the speed of your car in line with the speed of the car in front. If it slows down, the system automatically brakes, even down to a halt. This reduces the stress on you, especially on long stretches of road. In the center of the stalk is a rocker switch, the distance control. The rocker changes the distance you wish to maintain between you and the car in front in four stages. The multifunction display indicates the speed you wish to maintain, your current speed, and the distance set, and the speed of the car in front. Nevertheless, you can regain control at any time with the brake or the accelerator. You can also interrupt adaptive cruise control by moving the stock to the off position. Return to adaptive cruise control with resume. To reduce fuel consumption, vehicles equipped with Porsche Doppelkupplung BDK are able to coast in certain driving situations. Say, for example, you want to reduce your speed. When you take your foot off the accelerator pedal, PDK automatically disengages the gear it is in, and you coast on without engine power until you reach your desired speed or press the brake or accelerator pedal. PDK engages the correct gear again within fractions of a second. Or you can coast on gentle inclines to keep your speed constant and therefore drive more efficiently. It is possible to deliberately activate the coasting function by shifting up manually until coasting mode clicks in. The coasting and auto start stop functions can both be switched on and off using the button on the center console. With the optional two-zone automatic climate control, you can control the temperature automatically via the center console by pushing or pulling the separate controls for driver and passenger. Want the same temperature on the passenger side as for the driver? Press the Auto Sync button for three seconds and Sync will appear on the display. You can now adjust the temperature for both zones within the two-zone automatic climate control using just the button on the driver's side. It is possible to adjust the airflow and air distribution manually too. For example, you may prefer to direct it towards the windscreen to counteract condensation. Want maximum air conditioning? Or select the air recirculation function. 
Pressing the Auto Sync button returns to the two-zone automatic climate control. The optional seat heating and seat ventilation are likewise controlled by buttons on the center console. The Cayman models feature a heated rear screen, heated exterior mirrors, and a windscreen defrosting function. The multifunction display, or the PCM, allows you to control other air conditioning settings for the two-zone automatic climate control system, such as the airflow. Choose the gentle mode to minimize the amount of noise from the blowers. The enhanced ventilation field for both zones can also be switched on or off via the air conditioning settings. What is more, when the weather turns colder, you can also let the optional steering wheel heating warm you up. Curves follow their own rules. One is, always keep an eye on the figures. The rev counter also shows the current gear and on cars with PDK, the gear selector position. Furthermore, the upshift indicator on the display underneath the rev counter lets you know the best time to change gear manually. The multifunction display located within the right-hand circular instrument provides you with driving information from the onboard computer. To read data or customize vehicle settings, set functions using the right-hand lower stock on the steering column or on the optional multifunction steering wheel. To scroll through the menu, use the roller on the steering wheel or the stock. To select menu items, push the roller on the steering wheel or the stock. To go back, use the back button on the steering wheel or pull the stock back towards you. The onboard computer provides information about the average speed, for example, the range on remaining fuel and average fuel consumption, as well as other vehicle information, such as the latest data from the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, TPM. The TPM system also enables you to specify whether your tires are inflated according to the standard air pressure or comfort air pressure. The tire pressure monitoring system adjusts its pressure monitoring accordingly. Comfort air pressure increases driving comfort but reduces the permitted top speed. A number of vehicle settings, such as the time, can be changed using the multifunction display. Select a time zone or switch between daylight savings time and standard time. In addition, a small symbol indicates the status of the filler cap on the right side of the vehicle. When the vehicle is unlocked, the filler flap opens and closes when pressure is applied to it. Whether audio, communications or navigation, optional Porsche Communication Management, PCM, is your Cayman's central information and communication system. It is easy to operate via the intuitive 7-inch touchscreen or using the rotary push-button controls underneath the screen. A maximum of five entries per page ensures a good overview. Press the back button to exit the menu. Or use the option button which takes you to additional options or settings within each menu. A brief press on the left-hand rotary push button mutes the PCM. Holding it down longer switches it off completely. Want to make a telephone call? Press phone to make a call. The PCM opens the menu relating to telephone functionality. Insert your SIM card into the integral SIM card reader to make calls using the PCM. Alternative, your mobile phone's Bluetooth function can be used to make calls via the SIM access profile. 
Here, the PCM automatically accesses your SIM card without you needing to remove it from your phone. Should your mobile phone not have SIM access profile functionality, you will only be able to use the PCM as a hands-free facility with the help of Bluetooth. To pair it with the PCM, first make sure your mobile phone's Bluetooth capability is switched on. The Find Telephone option launches an automatic search for discoverable mobile phones. Then enter the specified Bluetooth passkey into your mobile phone. On more recent phone models, all you have to do is confirm that the Bluetooth passkey on the PCM corresponds with the one in your mobile phone. The PCM confirms that the external device is registered. Now that it is paired, it is possible to operate the phone via the PCM. Your mobile phone may ask you to confirm the connection with the PCM. With some mobile phones, such as the iPhone, it is only possible to set up a connection via the device. Set your mobile phone to search and select the PCM from the search list on the device. Press the Pick Up Handset button to make or accept a call. Press the Hang Up Handset button if you wish to end or reject a call. Connect MP3 enabled players directly to the PCM via the universal audio interface in the glove compartment. Press Source. A window will open allowing you to select the desired audio source. To operate the audio source, select Media. The menu for audio sources opens. If you want to use the radio, press Tuner to access the correct menu. Choose a radio station via the station list, for example. Then select the desired memory level. Holding the relevant station button down for a time will save the radio station to that button. Or you can save radio stations automatically using the auto store function. With voice control, you can also say which function you wish to use. This is activated by a button on the top left stalk. Now say the command out loud. For example, saying iPod will launch that function. Source iPod. The PCM also helps you to find your destination. Press Navi to access the navigation menu. It is straightforward to input your destination using the intuitive touchscreen. To display the map view, press Map. The map may be viewed as a perspective rendering or in 2D, oriented in the direction of travel or with north at the top. Use SetNavi to adjust the volume of the navigation instructions. Alternatively, press the map button once more in the active map view and the latest instruction will be given. You may now adjust the volume with a left hand rotary push button. What's more, in split-screen mode, you can display two functions simultaneously, such as the map and list of maneuvers. The Sport button on the center console activates Sport Mode, putting the emphasis 
on sporty performance at the touch of a button. Engine dynamics become more direct, and the engine management system offers a sharper response. The Sport Plus button is used to activate Sport Plus mode. The chassis and drive system become even sportier. Steering behavior when cornering becomes more direct. In Sport Plus mode, the damping control system, Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, likewise switches to Sport mode. Press the Sport or Sport Plus button again to return your vehicle to normal mode. Launch control is a supplementary function of Porsche Doppelkupplung PDK in conjunction with the Sport Chrono package. It enables the best possible starting acceleration, a racing start. How does launch control work? With transmission range D engaged, press the Sport Plus button. Press the brake pedal with your left foot and then press the accelerator right down to the floor with your right foot. Launch mode is recognized as a result of kickdown. The engine torque increases. The clutch is slightly engaged. Launch control active appears on the multifunction display. Now release the brake as quickly as possible. And be prepared for maximum acceleration. In conjunction with the memory package, the mirror on the passenger side automatically lowers as soon as you engage reverse gear. Activate this function via the multifunction display. Or manually, simply engage reverse gear and press the button that selects the passenger mirror. Park Assist makes it easier to maneuver and park. It indicates the distance between your car and an obstacle by means of an audible signal and a visual warning on the central display. Park Assist can be switched off by a button on the roof console. Both Cayman models have automatic welcome home lighting. Simply set the light switch to auto to activate this feature. Use the multifunction display to adjust the lighting. With Porsche Entry and Drive, press the button on the outside of the door handle once to lock your car. Your indicators will flash twice. The alarm system secures the vehicle. The optional interior surveillance is activated. You can also lock the vehicle without activating interior surveillance if, for example, someone is waiting in the vehicle. To do so, press the locking button on the key twice within two seconds or on vehicles featuring Porsche Entry and Drive, alternatively use the button on the door handle. Following the second press, the vehicle's indicators will flash once for a longer time. The doors are now locked, but can be opened at any time from inside by using the handle. What makes a sports car? Direct response every time you put your foot down. Dynamics in every curve. And looking forward to the next drive. The Cayman. Built following our own style. And the code of the curve. <laughs>